Hi friends, today we are going to be making our Kandinsky inspired trees. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to be making our tree trunk, which we're going to be using our hand to trace to get that shape of the tree trunk. And then we're going to be using different colors to cut out our circles to glue to our tree. And if you have time, you can even decorate your background um, with different patterns and shapes, just like we talked about when we did our snake project. But first, what you need for this project, and if you're working from home and you don't have some of these materials, don't worry, there's other things we can do. Um, I am going to be using a brown piece of um, colored paper for my tree trunk and then use a different color for your background, okay? Now, if you do not have any colored paper at home, please don't worry. You can still do this with a white piece of paper and we can always color it in whatever color you need it to be, okay? Um, you also will need a pencil. And um, you will need a glue, so you can either use a glue stick or a liquid glue. Um, and then some other colored pieces of paper. I just cut them smaller just so that I could have them all on the screen here with us. Um, now, on your Schoology page, there is um, a stencil for two different sized um, circles. If you want to print that out and cut these circles out, you can. Or instead, just draw your own circles. We're going to do a bigger circle and a smaller circle, and you can draw them to what size you want, okay? So you don't have to use the stencils. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to trace our hand for our tree. Now, my hand's going to be much bigger than, than your cute hands, but I'm going to lay my hand close to the top of my paper. We don't want to do it all the way down here because then we won't have a very long tree trunk. And if we make our tree trunk too long, we could always make it smaller. So I'm going to lay my hand out. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace around my hand. Okay, it's okay if you leave some space so you're not right close up to your fingers here. And it's okay if it's not perfect. These are supposed to be branches. Okay. And then I'm going to come down on my wrist just a little bit, okay? I know it's a little hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I can make my make it a little bit darker for you here. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw the tree trunk. So where our wrist would be is going to be the tree trunk. So it's going to start out small and then kind of go out and get bigger at the bottom here, okay? Then I'm going to make that tree trunk just by going up down, up, down, up, down for that tree trunk. Okay, here you can see it a little bit better if I turn my paper like that. All right, there is my tree, and now I'm going to cut out my tree. Okay, if this is too hard for you to see when you're tracing, you could always trace it with a black crayon. I'm going to cut this out, and again, don't worry if it's not perfect. We don't follow the lines exactly. We just want to cut around each one of our fingers, which is going to be our tree branch. Up and down, taking my time as I go. When I cut my paper, I try to, instead of moving my scissors, I move my paper to where I want it to go. lay my tree on my paper so the tree trunk is at the very bottom and my hand is facing up. I slipped mine over so just in case there was some pencil lines that I may have missed, I'm just going to flip it over so that I can't see those pencil lines. Okay, and I'm going to glue it just like that on my paper. So I'm going to flip my hand over here. I'm going to take my glue stick on the side where I can see some of my pencil lines here, that's where I'm going to put my glue. Again, liquid glue would work just fine too. Get each one of these fingers here. I'm going to glue it down, making sure that my tree trunk is at the bottom of my paper. Now, if your tree trunk isn't as tall, 
might be doing it more in the middle. It just depends. And I'm going to press it down real good to make sure that it sticks. Okay. All right. So now, friends, we need to make all those circles that we're going to attach for kind of the leaves on our trees. Okay. So again, I would pick a couple different colors. It's up to you what kind of colors you want to use. Um, I am going to use these five colors here. And on each one of my pieces of paper, I'm going to make a big circle and a small circle. Again, if you don't um, if you don't have these little tracers, you can't print them out. No worries. You can just draw your circles, which I'll, I can show you right here. And I'm going to draw these with a black crayon just so you can see it better because I know it's kind of hard to see with the pencil. Okay, so I'm going to draw, this is if you don't have a stencil, I'm going to draw a bigger circle and then a smaller circle. And guess what? I'm going to draw an even smaller circle. So three circles. Okay. I'm going to take my other piece of paper. This is if you're going to use the stencil. What I'll do is I'll hold the stencil down. I'll trace my bigger circle, making sure you can even lay out both stencils first just to make sure that you fit them on there. You want to make sure that when you trace the stencil that um, it's closer to the top so you have plenty of room for your second circle. Okay. And making sure I have enough room for that smaller circle. So I have my big circle, my medium-sized circle, and my smallest circle. Don't make them too small because it's going to be hard to cut out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to trace the rest of my circles on these papers. Again, you can lay the circles out first, making sure that you have plenty of room and tracing them or you can draw your own circles without a tracer if you don't have them and just make sure you have a big one, medium, and a small one. Okay, so go ahead and trace those circles um, and then once you are ready, um, you can go ahead and um, play the next video.